What is up all the peeps? Welcome back to a bloody Viking gaming bloody here back at it again with some boundless Thank you guys so much for coming and chilling and watching the video I hope you guys are having great days if you're new to the channel Make sure you find that sub button and give it some loving if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet Make sure you check me out on Twitter at a bloody Viking and if you want to catch a stream sometime Make sure you check me out on twitch twitch.tv forward slash a bloody Viking all right peeps we're back at it again with some boundless now couple of things I have been working on okay uh, first of all workbench um, this is the extractor this is the stone furnace that's crafting table that's warp conduit this I believe is what we need firstest and foremostest of all there's a couple things that I'd like to get done I would really oh I need a compactor shoot we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, all right, we better start that going because we need the compactor because here's what I'm finding. When you need or when you want to craft the upper level tools, right? We have been dabbling. We've gotten up to iron tools, which are really cool. I like them. They're very strong. They're very good. They work really well. When we get up into tools like gold, we need spark for that, okay? So we did get a bunch of um, fossils. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, oh my gosh, it's moving! Oh my gosh, peeps, look, it's moving! Okay, did not do that earlier. That is amazing. Plus 10 points for the devs! <laughs> okay, here we go. Extractor, this should be all my fossil extracts. Plus 10 points for me. Okay, now, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put this right in... I guess maybe... I have no idea... I think we're gonna put it right there. Okay, we have fossil ex extracts now. Okay, that is amazing. So within here, okay, now we have access to with our fossil extracts, right? Copper tools and iron tools. Now that is all really amazing, really good stuff. However, once we get past that, I mean, amethyst is obviously like longer down the road. However, we need then, let's see if we can find here a uh, diamond. Dark blood. We don't know anything about that. I don't even want to know. Dark blood for emerald. What about for gold? We need dark blood. No. Okay. So I'm guessing that the next step is going to be gold tools. Ruby. We also need the dark blood. Sapphire. I'm guessing. Yes. Okay. Um, silver. Okay. Silver. We do not need the dark blood. So that's probably before gold. Um, slingbow, extra damage, crystal, what do we need? Any timber. Okay, we need to take care of that because I don't have any more things for my slingbow. Titanium! Okay, titanium is an alloy that we have found before. However, we do not have tools strong enough to mine it as we tested, unless maybe the iron ones will do it, but I don't think that they will. Topaz is another storm, we need the dark blood. Okay, enough chit-chatting. So, what we are missing though, even for like the silver tools, which we have yet to come across any silver, is the spark. Now, I was trying to look and see, okay, what do we need for spark? Um, <clears throat> so the first thing that we need for spark is, where are you, thing that we need for spark? Hello? Okay, a power core, power core. So for a power core, we need an iron fire pit. We need 10 cogs. We need machined iron, ancient tech fragment, ancient tech component. Okay, so pretty much the only thing that we have of that is the ancient tech fragment. Now, for the other thing that we need, okay, wait, we're growing up here, is the iron fire pit. Okay, so we can make one of these. Unfortunately, in order to make the, where's the power core again? In order to make the power core, we need um, machined iron. Now, after you make regular iron, the refined iron, I think it is, then you make the compacted iron with a compactor, then you make the machined iron, which is an entirely different thing, but it takes 10 regular iron to do the two machined iron. So we are pretty much completely out of luck with that because of how much iron that we have. So in here, I have working right now the compactor. That's one thing that we need, which for the compactor, uh, let's see if we have the stuff that we need for it. We don't because I used up my, the stones that were in here. I have more. Um, for the compactor, we needed stones, iron, ancient tech fragment, 
and it's going to take seven and a half minutes. So that is may being made up with us. So the first thing we're going to get done today, amazing, is the compactor. The next thing we're going to do is make our 10 cogs. Now that's not a super huge deal because it only takes the copper, which kind of works out well for us because we do have that. The next thing we need to make is our iron fire pit. We are going to craft a single one of those. Now, unfortunately, as you guys know, these are all going to take, um, you know, a decent amount of time. So what I'm going to do um, while these things are crafting is that I'm going to go and gather some resources and I'm also going to go and see if I can make some more tools because I really we're going to need more iron. We're going to need oodles more iron. And I really, really, really hope we don't get lost in the middle of the world again because that would be incredibly disappointing. <laughs> so what we're going to do also storage block. What do we need? Any stones and nails, which we also need iron for. Gosh, ding, dang, darn it. What about storage shelf? Nails and timber. Okay, so I mean, that's fine, but we still need just as many nails. So that doesn't really help us. All right, peeps. So just so you know, the goal for today is to make this power core thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it because obviously I don't all know what an ancient tech component is and we also don't have the machined iron so it's something we're going to be working on. Anyway, thanks so much for dropping by peeps. I've got a lot of work to do and I will bring you back once we are ready to proceed. What is up the peeps? Welcome back. So I just wanted to kind of give you a little a little look here. Um, I have been crafting up a lot of stuff back at the base, kind of getting ready for some stuff. I just wanted to kind of show you something that I'm really happy about. You know, it's one thing uh, to have a game in early access. It's another thing to have a game in early access that's constantly being developed. Now, as you can see at the top of the screen here, this is a soft coal seam. And this looks the same exact way as it did, you know, last week when we did our last video. Except now the copper actually looks different. Um, it used to look like this, just like a copper color, right? Uh, coal seam. Now, there is a difference between coal and soft coal. Um, I assume that has to do kind of with the quality and like how much you can use it for. So I'm going to actually come through and, uh, and mine all this out in a second because it's pretty valuable. But the copper seams now have this different texture, which is just really cool for people who really enjoy the sandbox games, the open world games, the survival games, when they spend a lot of time gathering resources, they look for that kind of detail. They look for that kind of, um, you know, dedication to the game and making each item unique so it's easy to identify. Um, and so, you know, you can kind of delve into the game a little bit more. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's really, really, really cool. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. All right. We're good. The other thing that I wanted to show you is that they also made a change. Of course, it's getting dark. They also made a change to the iron. Um, they're much larger blocks, which also make it much easier to identify, which honestly, you know, we were having trouble down in uh, the cave last time trying to see and trying to see which items were which we managed to find a lot of iron and you know the fossil extracts and all that stuff and that was really great but I'm just really excited about the work these guys are putting into to making this game you know a quality item so I just wanted to share that with you guys in case you haven't seen it it's pretty cool I'm pretty excited about it uh yeah so that's the update for now peeps i'm gonna get back to uh gathering some of this bull shenanigans i'm gonna get us back to base we've got a couple things crafting up there a bunch of tools uh luckily i did start the hammers first so that i could take this out and gather stuff while the rest of that stuff is um is being crafted anyway peeps i'm gonna get back to it i will bring you guys back in a little bit later And we're back, peeps! All right, what is up? Okay, so a lot of time has passed, actually. Ta-da! This is the compactor. Now, it does look a little bit... Well, it looks sort of different. Yeah, okay, so that's our extractor, right? You guys all know what that's about. That's where you put the fossils in. You get the fossil extract out. Right now, we are working on our second batch of 25 fossil extract. We already got our first set. This is the workbench, which, of course, you all know what that is for all like the advanced tools, you know, the cog, the, you know, extractors, plinth, storage blocks, all that bull shenanigans. Um, so a couple of things. Now, we were working on getting the power core, which for that we needed cogs, we needed iron fire pits. Uh, let's see what else did we need scroll down here I think I passed it yes I did power core okay 
iron fire pit, cogged, machine iron, which we don't have yet, ancient tech fragments, and ancient tech component. Now, this is where the wrench kind of was thrown into my works here. So, I was out gathering all the stuff that I needed in order to get the iron fire pit, in order to get the cogs, and the machined iron Still not totally sure about the machined iron, haven't gotten there yet, but I'm pretty sure it's just using some compact iron, which we are making in the compactor. We'll get to that in a second. Now, I did a little bit of research, I did a little bit of looking up for ancient tech components, and I thought they were something we were going to craft. I thought they might have been putting ancient tech fragments in the compactor or, or something like that, something we were going to make. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Unfortunately, the ancient tech components actually are found. They're dug up. They're like a base metal. Um, well, not like a base metal, but you get what I'm saying. They're a resource that you find, and unfortunately, we need two of them. And according to my research, which was quite thorough, um, they are incredibly, incredibly rare. So, unfortunately, that means we are not going to be able to do the power core today, and that sucks. I'm pretty pissed about it. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully work towards the refinery. I don't really know what that does. I don't really know what it's for. Maybe it's for the machined metal. I got no idea. But what I am doing right now, what I did put together, was the compactor. Now, with the compactor, you go in here, you put in your iron or your copper, things like that. And actually, speaking of which, let's check on this real quick. How's this doing? Okay, we're out of fuel. Let's put our medium coal back in here. And we will start making up our copper. Here is the copper we have made so far. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can actually... Is there a compact copper? Is that a thing? Yes, there is. There is such a thing as compact copper. Now, I don't have any recipes that call for that just yet. Um... So I'm going to throw that into our storage. Actually, I'm going to stack it like that. All right, cool. So now in here, um, I was going to make up some storage blocks. For the storage blocks, we need stones, nails, glue, and it takes three minutes. So I'm actually going to make three of these, okay, because that's all the glue that we have. We can definitely make more glue. I actually have the supplies for that. It's actually bones and... Um, sap so we can make that no problem what I do want to do next though is actually like I said down here the refinery which we need the compact iron for so over here we should actually have our compact iron here we go so that's what that looks like let's chuck that in here uh, where are you over here good okay Let's go to our recipes. Let's go to all the way to the top because that. Oh, uh -huh ho! Okay, so you can. This is like a block of something, like a block of wood or a block of stone, that kind of stuff. Um, and you can make different things with that. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's a very cool thing. Let's see here. The we don't want to do the extractor. We want to do the refinery. Uh, okay, all right. Now, we need the power core for this, too, so we're kind of, like, out of luck. Refinery. All right. So, let's do a single batch of that. Now, that, of course, is going to take us forever and a day to do. We're going to do um, our storage blocks. Those are going to take three minutes each, three, six, nine, and then this is going to take about seven minutes. So, it's going to be about, you know, 16 minutes in total. I'm going to tell you, I have been gathering for a long time, for hours, um, probably about four hours or so, four hours. And out of that four hours, I was able to gather about maybe 30 iron, not even, even maybe like 25. Um, and then we did get a bunch of copper, probably about 50 or so copper. We did get some, um, fossils which we were able to make a lot of fossil extract that was good that was kind of like our hard thing before but now that i know how to get to the place where they are the fossils are located it's not so bad the other thing that i'm trying to figure out is how to use this warp locations there's nothing in this list now i did make whoa jesus crow you're in the wall man chill out i did make these location markers which are crucial to um to traveling between different locations. Your saved locations here, you can save a location that you're at. You can also, like if you know the coordinates, you can save coordinates of a certain place. 
Um, so this was a scary place entrance that I marked. That was where actually for the cave. Um, and this is the base, right? If you go in here, you can craft one of those tokens, right? Location marker tokens. Here's, I already crafted one, but uh, here are those, you know, location markers. Now, you're supposed to be able to like consume these or use these, but I just don't know how yet. So that's a little confusing to me. Um, so that's something we're gonna have to look into more. The other thing that I did was I made some torches. Now, the difference between that torch and this torch, as you can see, is that there's cloth on this torch, right? Whereas a regular regular one does not have any cloth. The difference there, as you can see, is how much light is put off by it. Way, 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 way more light. Um, so that is actually a pretty cool thing. So we have 20 of those now, which are gonna be way more helpful to us for when we go into you know, the mine again. So that's kind of where we're at, peeps. Uh, I'm going to wait for the rest of those materials to craft up. I'm going to get them ready to go, and then we'll put them together so that we can make the refiner. All right, so that's the update. Uh, sorry the video is kind of slow today. I mean, it's still pretty fun, lots of good information, but, you know, not as exciting as I had hoped it would be. <laughs> so we're going to make that up, peeps. I'm going to get that taken care of, and then I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay, peeps, we're back, and I am just adding a few more storage blocks to our little setup right here. I think we're going to do that, and that is all she wrote. Okay, all right, that was really fast. <laughs> all right, let's see. Is there anything in here that we can put away? We have a bunch of copper, a bunch of it. I'm actually going to snag this here. Let's see, anything else? Hmm. Okay, a couple things do need to go in here. Let's do this. We, I built, um, Slingbow Extra Damage Crystals, um, way more than I originally anticipated. Like, here's a full nine stacks, a full nine stacks, and six stacks. I did also find a place while I was traveling that, uh, did allow me to, oh, we gotta store this because we can't use it right now and I don't want to lose it. Oh, we gotta store this. Crap. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, I did also find a place that was like somebody was selling them. Uh, so I did pick up some more that way. Let's get these over here. This totem is something we can upgrade for teleportation. All right, cool. Now, here we do have our refinery. And that's what I'd like to look at next. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it probably. Hmm, yeah, let's do it right there. Okay, so here's our refinery. So that's the refinery thing. Now, what do we do with it? Mm, refinery ingredients. How about this? How about, oh, okay. How about this? Uh, anything? Um, wood? Bone extract? Uh, bone? Fossil extract? Nothing. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, all right. What else could we put in here that might, uh, refinery, refinery, refinery. What do we want to refine? Um, we do have some copper and iron lying around that I forgot was in here. Do we put regular stuff in here? No. Uh, oh, no. Okay. All right. That is not what I had anticipated. Okay. <laughs> so we definitely have some uh, some unexpected turn of events. Uh, is there anything in here? Okay, this. There shouldn't be anything in the compactor. Nope, there isn't. Okay. All right. Um interesting. Interesting. Okay, peeps, I'm a genius. Oh. Okay, well, I mean I'm all right, maybe I wouldn't go that far. However, I did figure out how to use the refinery. So it occurred to me that the only thing I had not, or well, the only th item or resource that I had access to that I had not tried to put in the refinery was a compact metal. So we made the compact um, iron to make the refinery, right? So we made up our refinery. So I went and um, grabbed some of our copper because we do have a pretty decent amount of copper. 
I chucked it into here and sure enough there is a recipe for refined copper which we can make two of. Now I'll tell you the truth I have no idea what this is used for. Um, uh, mm, mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, for all we know it's aesthetic. I have no idea. For all we know it just has to do with what it looks like. Again. I, I have no idea whatsoever. I would like to think that is more than that because man, oh man, it would be so, so, so sad if that's kind of all it did. But man, I, I mean, I know for a fact that this game is meant to be almost like a constant battle that if you look on the forums, if you look on like the uh, people talking about the game or the developers talking about the game, this game is meant to be a battle. It really, really is. And you're meant to constantly be crafting things and constantly be, you know, you're not able to repair anything. Your machines eventually will break down. I don't know if you guys knew that, but if we look over here, you can see that this machine is at 41% wear. Um, the way that we go about fixing that actually is by making a spanner. We are going to craft up one of these because we don't have one yet. Um, now that I think of it, I kind of reminded myself. So anyway, everything has wear. Everything eventually breaks down um, and pretty much cannot be repaired except for the machines with a spanner. You can see that our extractor has 27% wear. Our compactor only is 1% because we've only compacted a couple things here. Um, this is finished. We have our refined copper. Now, I don't really know what this means for what is available to us. I have no idea. Um, let's put this right here, I guess. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, and we can make, okay, so we can make machined copper. So we can make uh, machined metal there. Now, I know that for our coil, right, our power coil, we do need machined iron. Um, so we have the iron fire pit, we do have the cogs, we do have enough ancient tech fragments, but we are going to need some machined iron. I'm going to need more coal in order to make um, more iron itself. I'm going to need 13 more iron. Let's see. I think I do. Where's my little ore? It's in here. What do I got? 12? Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to cut it. So we're going to have to go get some more iron. <laughs> the grind continues. Um, but that still does not help us with needing the ancient tech component. That is a stumper. That's got me stumped. I mean, not really stumped, but I don't really know where to go from here. And that's kind of where that leaves us, unfortunately. So, peeps, I know that the episode was a little lackluster. I apologize if it was a letdown. Um, but that's where we are going to have to leave it for for now. So we did add some more storage. We did a bunch of crafting. We got our compactor. We also did our refinery. And now you guys know how to use them. So I really hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for spending some time checking out the videos it really helps me out and i really appreciate the support i hope you enjoyed it if you're new to the channel and you haven't subbed yet make sure you find that sub button give it some loving if you haven't followed me on twitter make sure you check me out on twitter at a bloody viking and if you want to catch a stream sometime make sure you check out twitch.tv forward slash a bloody viking i hope you all are having a wonderful wonderful day i love you all and i will see you in the next one oh,